Cade and I agreed on one thing, at least. A hunter's place is not behind walls. We are not titans. You and I belong out here, where we may touch the wilds. What is up everybody, the Daredevil 2 back with another Destiny 2 walkthrough. In the last part, we proceed to start the Shadow Keep campaign, where we found out that in the Your moon was a dark a path the last step. Eris was a pyramid of darkness, where we promptly got wrecked. I also showed off some of the Cade and I pre-order bonus for Forsaken. This is another one. A hunter's place is not the the way, in this part, we shall be going over to the next mission, which is in search of answers. As in, why does Eris Morn keep talking over me? You will never know. Got my little hinky dinky sparrow. Hinky dinky. <laughs> oh man. I like how they still kept this like same assets from Destiny One. Just makes a lot of sense actually, because it's basically it's just a copy and paste, except like there's now a Scarlet Keep. But other than that, it's basically a copy and paste. Maybe I should maybe I should look at my old video, see if it is a copy and paste, because it feels like it. What is that? Where did it go? I don't know. Oh yes. These are the phantoms. So allow me to help you die. Allow me to explain this really quick. Phant not phantoms. Slain phantoms. The people that we where are they at? Oh sure, as soon as I look for them, there's like none there, but as soon as I don't look for you, you speak up. It's crap. Whatever. Slain oh, phantoms Where were to? people who the went to the moon and got slaughtered. A temporary inconvenience. We must first understand how it works if we're to pass through it. For that, the hive may provide answers. For eons, they live next to the pyramid, and now they've constructed that scarlet keep above it. Its existence was clearly no secret to them. Now that it's activated. Strange congregations of Hive have begun to appear on the moon. There is undoubtedly a connection. And that's where we start. Yes, so we're here at the thing. Let's see Eris, here, where is it? it? It appears to be a ritual of some kind. We must learn its purpose. Do not be afraid to engage the Hive. No, there's... A chest. No, there is a slain phantom somewhere. Yeah, they are. So, do you. Of course. So, slain phantoms was back in, like, Destiny 1. This is in lore, by the way. Basically, what happened was we decided to invade the moon without knowing what the hive did, and then. We basically got slaughtered because Crota's sword literally drained the life from Guardians and murdered them. Also, we had nothing, we had no way to kill them. So, what do we do here, Ghost? Defeat Hive. Oh, just defeat Hive. Boom, one gone, two gone. Next. Yeah, I can see why Cade like this one so much. Yeah, okay, I can see why I like it. As I get nothing! <laughs> Pull out champion. <laughs> I grazed over that. I grazed over that text. Oh, man. No, I grazed over that dude's gamer tag. It was just like, man, that is such a weird gamer tag. I had to double take for me to, for me to actually understand it. As I get blessed by an ogre. I don't think I can. Oh, I didn't never. Ooh, 
Ooh, I just realized why I forgot to show. Mm, that's bad. Okay, well. My bad. Um, in the Dreaming City, there's like an entire thing where like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> in Dreaming City, there's basically something like this where you have to prevent things from sacrificing to other things. And that's what's going on here. But because we are such an underleveled light, is that if we do engage, I think at some point we like won't be able to do anything. We'll just be such a high light level above us. Nice. Yeah, so this is Altar of Sorrows. This is like I've actually seen this before. I've seen this before mine. I never showed it, but there's something called the Escalation Protocol. And well, and well of light, I think it is called. I don't know, something like that. We're basically just gonna use do these waves where you just defeat enemies, and when you get to like the highest tier of the final boss, if you kill him, you get like very good loot, very good good loot. And yeah, really, that's why you do this to get good loot. But it's actually on the most triumph thing, so if you want to do that to get more triumph, I guess. It's not hard. No, if you get like, I don't know, your friends to do it with you, happen to encounter some randos doing it, join them. But yeah. We, we're just going to do this to get the tablets. I mean, maybe we might show this. Contact Eris Morn. Basically just die and talk to her. Phantasmal fragments, cool. Cool. Yeah, there really isn't much for us to do here. And you just keep going, you keep doing this until you get to the highest tier or everyone just leaves. And of course when I go to leave it won't let me because I joined the alternate party. Bye, my friends. It was nice knowing you. Good luck on that, people. Ooh, don't tell me. Don't tell me I have to drive all the way to her. Ah, uh, fine. Screw it, I'm just gonna drive all the way to her. Or at least until one where it no longer registers me or sorrows. There we go. Still can't contact her, okay. Fine, we'll just drive we'll just we'll just drive all the way back, you know what? Whatever, I didn't even I yeah, I feel like this is I feel like we did do this wrong. Because I thought that was that was just pinging me to the Altar of Sorrows event. It's not. I think I actually just went to the wrong direction. In case you could not tell, I am a master walkthrough let's player. What's up guys? Back back again. Evil. Cough cough. Oh they're so dead. Oh they're 
guys for that. It's on top of the rockets, man. How is it? I know. It's the nightmares. The hive are trying to draw them in for the ritual. How curious. For what purpose? It's unclear, but they don't seem affected by the nightmares at all. Not like we are. Fascinating. We must learn how they've achieved that. That's our key to finding a way beyond the pyramid's world. Eris? Those screams. That's a hive wizard. We have to hurry. Bro, that sounds like Omnigal. Not gonna lie. Okay. Here you go, Aerith. Back here. Ooga! Yo, don't tell me you just got murked. I got murked by Crota. But she better have not gotten murked because if she has, then I'm gonna be very upset. Like, it's okay for me to kick the bucket, but not you. What do you got for us? Saimota screams as she did the day Omnigal tore her apart and silenced her forever. Our fates nearly intertwined today when a nightmare of Omnigal swept through camp. My survival was a gift granted by the essence you retrieved from the Crota nightmare. Were we to truly harness the power of this essence, it may provide aid in the fight against the nightmares and beyond, to the pyramid itself. It knows we're coming. I can sense it. And we will have the upper hand. A sense of despair. Let me guess, your spooky rock told you. So, we go down here to the shadow keep thing. Bam, we track that. Whoop -de -woo. And this is where the other part of the <laughs> shadow campaign comes in. Wait. Whatever. Where we basically just do patrols and stuff. That's that's really it. <laughs> I mean, is there is there a public event that we could just join in on? <sighs> in like four minutes, yeah, I guess. Whatever, I guess we'll rally to the public. Oh no, there's one in here. Let me add. Believe if you make this a heroic public event, it speeds it up faster. So hopefully, people aren't dumb. Shh. Well, okay, grab these, dunk them. Okay, we're not opening that up. Because I know if we open it up, the kid will definitely just grab the arm target and probably blow it up as soon as he can. So we shall wait for it. It's here. Changing me. Yeah, you will randomly just get coins like that throughout this entire thing. Also, that was me speaking, not it. Or me speaking what it said. Huh. Sorry, open boil. Called it. Burn. Open it. Yes. Boom. 
out of here. Sorry to watch this. That's gone. Oh, it just launches me over the wall. Hi. This next one, then. Yeah, mission's really not anything special. It's just, you know, grind. It's the entire game, really, just grind. I mean, 
I don't think you guys would really just want to watch me grind to get this unstable essence and be like, yay, look at me. So, after this public event, we'll start off the next one by basically um, showing the text and stuff. I gotta say though, I like. Oh, I remember this place. Okay, hold on. Before we hit that public event up, I just. Oh, the nostalgia. Look at this. It's slightly. It's way more brighter than it originally was, but. Ah, oh, dude. That's so nice to see. It's so nice to just. Remember. Remember the time we had. This is a joke from TikTok. Yeah, I use it. <laughs> Oh uh, man. It's always so nice to see that, uh. Well. To get the nostalgia from D1, which by far was so worth making, even though it's like six years old. Six years, about to be seven years old, and. Usually games don't live that long, or. These type of games don't live that long, but they do. But this one does. I'm happy. Time to draw. Keep you. Yeah, I gotta say, I like this ornament for the. By the way, <laughs> how I found out how to get this ornament was as soon as I finished the last of the episode, Ace in the Hole, as soon as I finished recording that, I'm, I'm like, huh, Amanda Holiday has something for me. I go over, look, it's all of the pre-order bonuses. I didn't know she did that. <laughs> did not know she was the one who gave you all of that. I thought she was the one that, well, that you... I know that you got the old campaigns from, but did not know she was the one that also had the pre-order bonuses. My bad. Scouts report a fallen ether catch in the area. A resupply run. Put a stop to it. Ah, oh, dude, I'm not even sure how to get, like... I'm not even sure how to get, uh... What's it called? A heroic on this. Oh, that's probably how we stop it. my original plan of originally just dipping out of this episode to then show it at the beginning. I guess I'll just show it now. This is like, what, we just hit the 25 minute mark, so yeah. We're still fine. Usually I don't want these things to run over like an hour. It's like the first episode to a new series. 
because I don't want to <laughs> don't want these things to be so long like the original Destiny 1 series where I screwed that up. Cause I know you guys don't like long episodes. My very soul was shattered into pieces. It was all I could do to try and pick them up again. But some pieces, as you can see, required replacing. I must call upon one of them now. An ancient talisman imbued with the magic of the hive. Without it, the true power of the nightmare essence could not be harnessed. Through their union, we take our first step toward unearthing the secrets of the pyramid. But it is only a step. Further essences require further hive magic, neither of which I possess. Acquire both, and our path to the pyramid should present itself. Pyramid wastes no time. Phantom of Toland has arrived with every intention of distracting me. It will not work. During Eris' er time in the Hellmouth, she discovered many hive curious. All that remained was an ancient talisman pulsating with hive magic. Now, the union between the talisman and essence of despair has yielded a powerful tool in the fight against the nightmares. Take this piece of dream bane armor and use it to hunt the nightmare. Cool. This is the first set of the Dream Bane armor set, which I might honestly just infuse because it's great. If I'm gonna be wielding this thing 24/7, we might as well. Oh, I don't even got an upgrade module. Hold nothing back. Well done, and that will be it for this part. If you, you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, do all that fancy stuff, and I will see you all in the next part.